All right, guys, I'm back to make a follow-up video to my first video that I made about a week ago. Um, I got some quality control issues with this Harbor Freight 54 U.S. General Series 2 toolbox, and I just want to go over what I found. I want to do a, a complete review because it's come to my attention that um, a lot of you aren't very close to a Harbor Freight, and maybe you can't physically go and see them. I'm fortunate enough to live within 30 minutes of about four of them, and I didn't even have to order this. I know a lot of you are going to have to order it and wait till it comes from China, wherever. But uh, I was able to actually pick this up at one of my local Harbor Freights and uh, bring it home. So I want to go in depth, but not not too much. There's plenty of videos out there, uh, just for all you that don't have a chance to go see it in person, and then go over the couple problems that I did find that are fixable and I'm going to go over that, how we're going to do that and uh, I'll cover it. So this is just uh, a quick, hopefully not too long video and we can get to the point. So um, I'm going to go over the measurements first of all. Um, you know what it says in the, in the manual, you know, but probably what you don't know is, uh, all right, the top toolbox, 56 and a half wide, 21 and a quarter tall, and then 22 and a half deep. Um, you put the handles on there so you can figure out if this is going to fit in your space. With the handles, it's going to be 61 and a half inches. So you can always leave them off if you need to, you know, squeeze it in your space, whatever you got to do. Bottom one, same width and, um, same width and depth, um, but the height of the bottom is 56 and a half. And that's what the yeah, that's 56 and a half. The overall height with the lid closed, 64 inches. You open the lid up and it's uh, 84 and a half with the lid open. So just, just over seven feet tall. So keep that in mind. Uh, you're trying to find a place to put it. Um, all right, let's go over the uh, Oh, let me turn this around. Gee, many Christmas. All right. Um, in my other video, I have these out because I'm going to show you what I found in there. Uh, in my other video, I went over the gauge thickness of the metal, comparing it to my old Snap-on 25-year-old, 30-year-old toolbox. Um, so I looked up online. I got on the Snap-on site, and basically, they tell you the gauge for the top, back, bottom, sides, the drawers, everything. I got my uh, Hobart welder gauge, went over everything that they basically covered, and in all honesty, it's almost identical. There's a couple little things, and you'll see in my other video, comparing the drawer fronts to the drawer itself, this was 18 and this was 20. But that's on these small drawers. So once I <clears throat> once I went over to the big drawers, I noticed that they are basically they're 18 and 18 also. So just a kind of a correction on my other. It's kind of an oversight on my uh, on my first video. Um, all right, so you have the overall measurements. Like I said in the, the first video, the fit and finish is really good on here. The powder coat is good. I mean, you know, everything looks good. The, um, in my other video, I also told you I blacked these out with the tape. Like I say, the, the trim was scratched up anyway because it's just, uh, it's not chromed or anything. It's just aluminum, so it was scratched up. So I blacked it out. You can look at my other video. I showed you how to do, I told you how to do it with some tape. Um, so that being said, I want to go over the other issue I has I have, and I think a lot of other people might have had with this is it's these drawers, they flop around a lot, all right? And they make a geez, there it goes. And they make a I don't know if you can hear it. There it goes. A god there it is. A god awful squeaking sound. And I'm like trying to figure out what that was 
and what I came to notice now I think you have to remember the most probably not the most expensive part but a large deal of the price on any toolbox is going to be the slides I mean I just redid my kitchen and put in I don't know how many slides but and they were self-closing they were the very good ones and they're $30 a slide so I mean that's I'm guessing these aren't $30 a piece or a pair of slides but you know it would add up like I said these are all roller bearing um, my old snap-on didn't have that they roll really good the problem is and I've got the solution for it also um, let's see if I can get this in here if you can see it but these can you see the slop in that and there's where your squeak can come from so I, you know I watched some videos before I bought this box and I don't think anybody had covered that and had they covered it I would have fixed it prior to me putting all my tools in it so now I'm in the process of taking all my tools out and this is the fix that I've come up with um, what they did basically is I can show you better on a drawer basically there's these little tabs in here you see the tab and basically all they do is slide in they just slide in and then they put one rivet one rivet in it so the front is nice and solid same thing on the same thing on these there's literally there's one where is it there's one rivet in there and that's it so the solution and I did it over here as you can see on these side boxes see how much slack look at that so that's definitely gonna affect your you know your drawer slop right there obviously the tighter it is the better you know it's gonna fit the more solid it's gonna feel it's definitely not gonna squeak anymore when I fix this um, I did one over here and you can see it doesn't move at all now so I'm gonna show you how I did that on the drawer and then I'm gonna show you how you can do it um, well how I did it on the cabinet because it's two different processes here so let me see if I can get this to turn around here we can show you what we're doing here Ugh. all right so basically I mean you could put a rivet in there but then it's gonna stick out and I mean they have flush rivets here I don't have the tool to do that or I don't really actually know how they even do it so what I did got you an old bar clamp here because I don't want to scratch anything up I don't want to beat it with a hammer I don't want to dent the hell out of it so basically just put it on there and I'm gonna crank this some bitch down here right quick a couple good turns on it now I don't now every drawer that I found isn't actually like that they're not all loose so I don't know if it's a quality control issue if they built this on a Friday you know whatever but some some of them are tight so now I don't know if you can see that now but there's no movement at all in there so just for I'm not gonna do the front one because there's a rivet right there but I am gonna do each one well the back one and the middle one I guess is what I'm saying and it only takes a couple turns and you fold that over give it a crank here this is the easiest way I found to do it and I haven't done all of them like I said because I got to take everything out the heavy drawers I'm gonna have to take everything out of it. and there you go and that's I mean that's that's not going nowhere so that'll take up your squeaking see now this side here you can still That's what it is so all right let's go back over here now in the <clears throat> in the inside because well, let me get my thing set up here because I can't get on the other side obviously because they're boxed in you hear that? oh god I can't get to the other side so what I did was I took 
I've basically drilled a hole. Well, you can see it. I just drilled a hole in the uh, in the side piece there, and that's a that's just a beam. So you don't have to worry. You have you know a couple inches before you'd go through the side. But what I ended up doing was that's probably a good thing to do is to make sure you put your drill bit in just really short. There's no sense having it stick out any more than that. That way you don't worry about going through the other side or denting your new toolbox up or anything like that. So I've just got an eighth inch drill bit. I ended up going with um, steel, a steel rivet. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I think, I mean, I had aluminum ones, but I'm sure they'd be strong enough. I mean, these, these drawers are, you know, made to hold 100 pounds, and really that's not even holding any any weight. I mean, these these are, I mean, if you get it down, it's the weight is being supported by the slide itself. So basically all you're trying to do is hold it flush in there so it doesn't, so it doesn't do this. Um, so yeah, so I just put a rivet in there. I got some more to go here. I also would recommend, this is, you can see the tape I have down here. Because what's going to happen is you're going to be drilling a hole in there and all your metal shavings are going to fall in your nice new ball bearing slides and there is some grease in there so it probably end up getting you know caught up in there so i think if you just put the i just got the blue tape because it comes off real easy so you just put the blue tape on there let it fall all down here and then you can uh just vacuum it out or brush it out or what, whatever you want but i think this is going to make a big big difference i mean this is this is not moving at all now so i recommend you do that prior to you putting all your tools in there like I did because it's, it's definitely going to help. It, it can't hurt anything, a little bit of your time. Um, I actually took the drawers out prior to me even putting it up there because to save the weight and the heaviness of it. And again, I'm, I stressed in my other video, these things are heavy. The bottom box is 400, 400 pounds and the top is 266. So trying to get it off the trailer it's quite a process, <clears throat> but uh, you put all these tools in there, it makes it just that much heavier. So do yourself a favor, take all the drawers out before you unload it so you don't kill yourself, and then go ahead and do this upgrade, or this, what a, you know, improvement, I guess, is, is I would call it. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, like I say, I'm not trying to compare this to a snap-on. I'm not saying it is a snap-on. I'm not anything like that, but as far as the metal gauge goes... I think it's very comparable. I'm not going to say it's 100% because I don't have a brand new box to go by. I was basing all this off of my old toolbox, my old 25-year-old one, and that was a review. Uh, one more thing that I did notice, and again, you know, I, I weld, you know, I've welded for years. I understand, you know, how it works. Um, if you can see under here... Let me get my flashlight in here. Oh, I don't know if it's going to show up. It's hard to see. But if you take my word for it, there's one, two, three, four, five. All right, there's like, let's just say there's six, six welds that hold this drawer front on, okay? Which seems to me that's, you know, plenty of welds. Uh, it's not going to, anything you put in there, those drawers are designed to hold uh, 200 pounds, 100, 200 pounds. I think each slide is 100 pound rated, so 200 pounds isn't going to break six welds. But, if you and that's a, I don't know how wide that drawer is, but for instance, this narrow little drawer on, on this <coughs> old snap-on, and now you can see these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight welds on this small drawer. And these are probably, eh, I don't know, what, three inches apart. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure the Snap-on one has more welds, you know. And it, obviously, more welds is better. But at the same time, I think these welds on here are sufficient as far as holding the weight. Again, this is not a, this is a, what do I got, 1,200? 12, 1300 bucks in here in the actual uh, toolbox. And the snap on is going to be twice, three, uh, who knows, three times that. Easy. So, a couple of modifications you make, and I think you'll really be happy with it. 
like I said, I just wanted to do this because I hadn't seen anybody, as far as the videos that I have seen, um, mention anything about the the slides themselves. So, um, but I have seen videos where everybody's drawers are squeaking. So, I'm guessing it's a common thing. And like I say, not every drawer was like that. And um, so, um, oops, here, what my tape? Uh, so anyway. I don't want to, what do we got, 15 minutes? I'll give you a quick tour of the toolbox. I mean, whatever. You're going to put your own stuff where you want to put it. Um, but again, for the people that don't have access to see it, um, and these drawers, they're not 100% slides, like I said in my first one. You have, it comes out, you have about a, yeah, just about an inch left, you know, in the back, which is, you know, it's fine. It's still a 90 five percent slide i guess they slide really good all right there's my uh vice grips and whatever here we got oh my empty drawer see i still got space left and there's that squeaking which we're going to fix that this is my uh all my wrenches some old sears god those are from 30 years ago probably some max sk sk some craftsman some harbor freights in there yep that's right. We got this. Sockets. We got SK. We got Snap On, uh, Impex, Craftsman, more old SK stuff. I really like the SK stuff. SK ratchets, like those. Uh, that's SK. Those are all SK. That's Snap. That's a, that's a Snap On. SK, SK, SK. More SK. A bunch of pliers in here. If you stand them upright, at first I had them all flat, so, you know, it takes up more room. I got these little trays of Herbert Freight, so I just stack them up in there. Oops, whoa, there went my freaking camera. Stand by. We got the Kleins. These are snap-ons. Uh, you know, a little bit assortment of everything in here. Uh, Just some screwdrivers, some old snap-ons. These are the vessels. These are really good. I got these, those are, uh, yeah, what are they called? JIS tips for uh, Hondas and Toyotas. Actually, I didn't, uh, the screwdriver tips are just a hair different. And every time I was working on my daughter's car, I'd be stripping out heads on it. So since I got those on a slow boat from China, I haven't had that problem. Uh, Mac, snap-on old snap on here i'm still trying to find a replacement for these these are the triangle handles and i'm missing one and i guess they only made it they made them into 70s and into the mid 80s uh, pry bars breaker bars mm, that's all my battery tools mm, so hammers saws it's my old auto body stuff from a whole nother life ago when I did auto body. Uh, some heavy stuff in here. Uh, front end stuff, uh, hydraulic crimping tools, some power tools, a bearing kits in there. Just uh, miscellaneous stuff. Some chisels. So, you know, I just wanted to do this basically to show people that don't have the access to these. And like I say, that was brought to my attention. I never even really thought about it because I have so many Harbor Freights around me, but apparently there's a lot of you guys that have to drive for an hour or, or more just to go look at one. Um, like I said, I'm really happy with it. Had it for over, you know, just over a month now. And I'm still, still working on it, still, uh, Still putting stuff in it and just trying to make it better. So this is just my review to help you guys out. Um, but I, overall, for the price, I don't really, you can't go wrong. I'm super impressed with it. Everybody is. Apparently, they're selling out in stores, and that's why you have to order it. Like I said, I was fortunate enough to be able to pick it up at local, locally, and uh, they actually had the top and bottom in the color I wanted. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So uh, any questions, just put them down there. I'm trying to keep this video short. So, uh uh, you guys have a good day.